Hey guys, what's up? So, I figured what better place to do my update than uh, Moab, Utah. Um, I'm currently on Hell's Revenge, and there's a, a group over there that was on one of the guided uh, groups for uh, Easter Jeep Safari. But today I'm kind of being a lone wolf and just decided to head out here by myself. Brought my co-pilot Simba with me, who's doing a terrible job of spotting me, by the way. Buddy. Um... Right now, I am at, sitting at the top of it's Hell's Revenge, but this is Hell's Gate right here. Or some call it the Tiptoe Challenge, I guess is what they just told me. But no, it's Hell's Gate. So I just did this. This is my second time doing it. First time I did it. Um, video makes it look not so bad, but when you're at the bottom, it is scary as hell. Um, I did it during, during the summer for the first time. Um, on my last Moab trip. That was with uh, the Dana 30 front, open front and rear, 373 gears, no problem. I'm um, aired down to around 10 right now, maybe 9. I have a 10 PSI minimum gauge, so it's really crappy. Uh, no problem going up it. Um, I decided to use my lockers this time. As, just, as you know, I recently upgraded to Rubicon 44s. So that means I have the... 32 spline, so I'm gonna go out of breath. That stuff gets my heart going. 32 spline, shafts, uh, the bigger ring and pinion in front. Um, it's got the factory Rubicon E lockers. Yeah, no problem going up it. Going down, it's scarier if anything. Um, I didn't get a video of it because I'm not part of this group. I'm just kind of doing things on my own. But today's uh, Hell's Revenge. I'm going to do some hiking afterwards. Yesterday was uh, Moab Rim. And uh, I did Potato Salad Hill. Um, if you don't know what that is, look it up on YouTube. And you'll find a lot of rollovers and breaks on it. So uh, I'm extremely proud of myself for doing that. Um, it took seven attempts. Um, and there was a old man in a nice truggy Yoda and uh, he did the thing each time for me over and over and over to help me get the line. Um, I was there down to 12 psi at first. He was there down to 6. He crawled right up it. Um, so I went down to about 10, maybe 9. Again, I don't know for sure. Got a bad gauge. And um, took me a couple bumps and a lot of wheel spinning but I got up it. So I am extremely proud of myself for that. Um, lockers worked great So this month's update is I made the move to Denver got my apartment Loving it so far drove out here uh, unloaded into the apartment literally packed up the next day and drove out to Utah for Easter Jeep Safari. I'm having a great time so far um, It's awesome that now Denver is six hours away from Moab, so I'm gonna be coming out again in two weeks instead of waiting once or twice a year. Um, so, first things first, start with the updates. Um, I noticed the other day that my front right brake caliper is starting to seize up um, when I was swapping tires to put on some stock tires to drive out here and tow a trailer, which I don't want to talk about because that was a very uh, emotional drive for me, driving like that. Um, I noticed my front right is starting to seize up. Um, I couldn't really rotate the tire. So, I figured why spend, you know, 200 bucks getting a new caliper put on. Um, I already have the big, the Terraflex slotted big brake rotors. Let's see if I can get in there. Oh yeah, crystal clean picture. Not really. Um, so I'm going to just figure this why not. Might as well get the Terraflex upgraded uh, calipers. Next up is a uh, rock crawler. Um, as you know, I have their 3.5 inch uh, X Factor mid arm. Um, I love it. Nothing wrong with it. But y'all know me, so yeah, I'm not too much for sticking with what everyone else does. So I'm uh, upgraded a little bit. I'm gonna be going to the long arm soon. Um, I still have the mid arms on right now, so abuse these while I got them. Um, I'm gonna be going to their triple threat. Actually, no, it is the X-Factor as well, I believe. But it's the three-link front and rear. Um, I already have the three-link 
mounts on top of this Artec truss. Um, gonna be keeping the shocks and all that for a while, so basically just doing a long arm upgrade. So that's basically my uh, purchase, you know, gift warming or housewarming, that's the word, housewarming gift to myself. Um, gonna be long arms and big brakes. Um, I decided I'm gonna stick with uh, 37s for now. No real reason to upgrade. 40s are really just for looks. Um, unless you're one of those hardcore buggiests, but this little puppy drives me to the mall and back every day. So I'll stick with 37s for now. Um, but you know how I say for now, for now means for now. It's not gonna stay that way. Um, rock crawler tie rods, synergy drag link, PSC hydro assist, synergy ball joints. Um, so I guess really my only official update is that one of my customers, that white Jeep I built for a DJ in Chicago, got me a set of the, the, the rigid Dually D2 knockoffs. <laughs> so it matches my knockoff uh, 50 inch, but got me a set of those for my windshield because he knew I always, uh, I had the brackets there but no lights on it. Kept telling myself I'll do it one day, I'll do it one day. Um, and that's that. So as for my other, I was my last video I talked about wanting to buy another Jeep. Um, well, I talked to my, we have a house in Leadville, a family house, owned by my grandparents. And there is a 1973 Ford Bronco sitting in the garage. It's that uh, creamy yellow, kind of like that mucus yellow, <laughs> if you will. Um, well, I talked to him. I said, hey, can I have it? Or can I play with it, you know? And they said absolutely. So that's my next project, but that's gonna be uh, after this baby. So I guess in the future you'll be seeing some updates for that. Um, I guess that's basically it. Let's get a quick little walk around here. I have my spider web shade, a red spider web shade up top, and then my black spider web cargo shade in the back. Uh, bushwhacker fenders, rock crawler three and a half inch. Mid arm, the Gen Right tire care, poison spider bumpers, um, 37 uh, by 12 and a half, 17 nitto trail grapplers, 17 by 9 uh, ballistic adjusters, Bill Sane 6 inch lift shocks, um, rocker knockers, and basically my knockoff, everything else. So um, comment if you like, if you have any questions, like if you like the video, subscribe for more updates.